if i gave you just name and a blurry profile pic could you find out where someone works or lives or who they secretly talk to online spoiler alert yes we can and yeah it's not hacking it's called oscient open source intelligence today i'll show you how to find anyone online using publicly available information no hacking no logins just smart searching let's go firstly oscient or open source intelligence it is the art of collecting information from publicly available sources social media documents metadata usernames forums even pdfs that you can directly find on google right it's used by journalists ethical hackers law enforcement and yes yeah even that guy or girl who stalks you on social media but today we are using it ethically and educationally to show you how easy it is to piece together someone's digital footprint and by the end you will think twice before using the same username everywhere you use the same passwords everywhere and somehow it got leaked in, in that big data breach and now all your accounts are compromised okay now let's go i'll show you step by step os and the walk through first start with what you know like a profile pic a username like these are the smallest things or smallest piece of information that you know about a person just say okay the garden name or a username or a phone number or even a profile pic okay where scientist starts from a single thread we're going to pull that thread first if you know a username then check usernames across different platforms you can use tools like checkusernames.com or namechk that is namechk.com plug in the username you'll instantly see where it has been used tiktok or github or reddit or youtube pinterest name any people often use the same id people often reuse the same username or same id number 3 next email intelligence email is one of the smallest piece of information that you can find about a person like for suppose if that person is on linkedin just like that you can go on to their linkedin page linkedin profile and get the username right isn't that easy if you have an email tools like epi epios epios.com or hunter.io or have i been pwned these will show you data breaches or associated accounts possible names and even social media linked with that email emails are the fingerprint of the internet right so going much deeper if you got a phone number then you can use websites like numlookup or that's them enter the number get location name possible carrier or even social media links this works with this works well with whatsapp too add the number and check the dp status or last seen you would be surprised what's public right isn't this all you already know but you haven't connected the dots but now you do next not the least you know you know it but you don't know it it's like the most powerful thing you can do which is in your control google.com this is where it gets spicy like i'll tell you an example see type this what you see on the screen you can discover resumes pdfs word documents college lists published papers combine this with known schools or companies to narrow results you can get you will be surprised how much information you can find about a person next social media cross check use websites like socialsearcher.com and pq see these are all websites which are already there but you didn't know yet and if you want more information like this keep subscribed okay let's get back these pq and uh, socialsearcher.com these are sites with these these scrape mentions of names and usernames across instagram twitter facebook and other social media you know it's like playing detective piecing together identity across platforms next location clues that too without gps even without exif data you can get location clues from the background signs and images college hoodies linked events or posts combine this with public posts or group check-ins on facebook and you can often pinpoint a city or even a college campus with that you can get to know the location right i have a plan on making another video just with an image not by looking at the background etc but with the data contains in, in that image to be precise it's the metadata with that we can pull out the gps location you know the exact latitude and longitude from a particular photo if you want that video just comment and just comment that you need that tutorial and i'll be working on it and next this the video doesn't end here 
I want to give you some bonus. I'll post recording this video. I'll uh, type this usernames on this. I'll give it on screen. See this one, two, three, and four. Yeah. First two, I'll leave it up to you to go and tweak around and search and understand what they do. And coming to the third one, what's my name dot app. This is used for reverse search usernames. And the fourth one, dash dehashed. You will be surprised. Data leaks and exposed credentials. But here's the key. Think like an analyst. OS is OSINT isn't just about finding a single answer. It's about connecting the dots. You know, I always speak about this a lot. If you have knowledge that isn't useful at all, you need to have intelligence. You need to connect the dots. Every clue matters. A friend's tag, like a, a liked tweet, a GitHub repository, anything. So could I find your secret Twitter account right now with just your email or username? Probably yes. If that made you uncomfortable, mm, it should. The best defense is awareness. And in the next video, I'll show you how to protect your online footprint like a ghost. Well, be subscribed. Hit that subscribe and drop a comment if you want a full OS and case study also. I take one look at you, you're taking me out of the ordinary. I want you laying me down.